<laughs> Hello there. My name is Chloe Taylor Brown. I am so excited to be here with Tracy Pearson. We're at the Justin's Women's Leadership Conference. How's it going? Great. It's going wonderful. Thank you. This is great. So what have you enjoyed best about today? Yeah, I always, when I come to any kind of conference, especially Jetson, um, it's just meeting everybody and just getting to know and hearing their stories and it's and inspirational. And I'm good friends with Jackie Canizo, so I've come to a few. This is like my third year, so just seeing the growth of the conference has been amazing. Um, I've and, been hearing some amazing stories. Oh, it's wonderful. So tell me about Prissy Tomboy. Yeah, so Prissy Tomboy is an organization for girls, um, ages 7 to 18. We take girls rock climbing and mountain biking, paddle boarding. So it's all by, about empowering girls through sports and adventure and building camaraderie and leadership and self-confidence. Do you guys uh, go on sleepover camps or is it all day camps? Um, it's mostly day camps. It's mostly the day at event. Um, we've done over 60 plus clinics. So it's just given an opportunity to try a sport or a venture um, in a non-competitive, non-intimidating way. So what is the most adventurous thing you've gotten the girls to do at Prissy Tomboy? Um, you know, we've done paddle boarding, mountain biking, rock climbing. Um, we did the Georgia Tech Leadership Ropes course. Um, that was pretty challenging. That's a pretty challenging course for m mostly middle school and high school girls. So zip lining. Um, so the, I think the ropes course is probably one of the most challenging. But we also, we're taking a group hang gliding, skateboarding. We have a wakeboarding event coming up on July 9th. Um, so then the girls will get to go wakeboarding. So yeah. Well, you know, it seems like when you were taking the girls that it's more of a team building also. So they have to rely on each other. Yes, you know, for for girls, especially, I, mean, I, I think girls and women, uh, I want them to work together and to learn together. So it doesn't matter where you come from, or you know, or your education background, or your demographic. It doesn't matter. It's all about just enjoying life together. And I think when you enjoy life with other women and girls, then you become friends. Um, so I want them to build each other up, and I also want them to cheer each other on while they're learning a new sport or new activity, so they could do that as uh, they become women in a business. So what do you like best about it? Is this your company? It is. Mm -hmm. So how did you get started in this whole idea? Um, you know, I have been in multiple industries and um, I realized that for women, a lot of confidence stems from their youth. Um, I was in beauty and fashion and I worked at you know, did New York Fashion Week and movies. I worked with supermodels to housewives. Um, and if they're not confident, it's something that happened to them when they were young. So I always will listen, go through that story and that process with them. And then when I realized when my son started in middle school that, you know, okay, girls aren't out, they're not outside. Are they making friends? What's happening? You know, how are they being portrayed in the media? Um, and when I saw all of that, I was like, okay, we got to get girls back outside. We need them to be friends. I need, and also too, for my son, I wanted to show him strong, healthy women. So he has a healthy view of women as he becomes a man. Yes. Because um, right now in media, it doesn't show that. So do you have girls? I have two boys. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really interesting. So yeah. you really are a prissy tomboy. I am. My father <laughs> actually um, named me prissy tomboy when I was little. It was probably more out of frustration than it was anything because it was getting ready for a softball game. and. I was putting my hair in braids and bows and getting dressed up. And he's like, you're the prissiest tomboy. Why are you taking so long? So it just stuck. You know, I always played sports as my lifestyle. And uh, typically I was one of the only girls playing. And so I was kind of, I was always called the prissy tomboy because I was still super girly while I did it. So I like that. Now, what was it that you shared today that you've taken specifically from your lifestyle as a girl growing up as a prissy tomboy? Um, I, I've been in multiple industries and the, no matter what, it's about giving back and finding connection to it. And so for me, it was talking about living a healthy lifestyle and giving back because I want these girls to have perspective and have that empathy um, and understand like, okay, why are you passionate about what you're doing and how can you make a difference in that industry, whether it's tech, sports or beauty, fashion, whatever it may be. It's, it's finding that, that peace that always giving out a helping hand puts you in perspective and it gives you um, and it, it gives you to relate and have a relationship with others so yeah well, thank you so much for sharing okay. that. it's been really inspiring oh thank you so much okay.